And now here is Cedric Mullins. And that one wrapped foul. Bounced up the middle. Dives, but it kicks off his glove. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Now it's the second baseman, Jordan Westbrook. And a strike in there. In his third season, 27 years old, a former first round pick back in 2017. 0 2 now. Got him looking, and he didn't like the call. Well, this is no secret that slider is going to be his go to pitch. Everyone in the ballpark knows it. It's a massive part of his arsenal, and he'll throw it a lot, and in pretty much any count, any situation, and he's going to look to punch guys out as well. I tell you what, the effectiveness of that slider is always a big key for him. Right into the play. Way high with that one. And a count one and two. Well, he missed badly with that 0 2 fastball. Getter had to understand. Probably wants to try Story. Story. The throw to second throw is offline. Off Anthony Santander at the play. Right down the chute. Right the, the, the last thing he no wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in his own. They'll be pitching for a double play in this spot. Next offering is in for a strike. Hits and misses. It's a strikeout. So first and second with two outs. And next for the Orioles, Gunnar Henderson. On the story, and the inning is over. Back now at Fenway. And towing the slab here, Corbin Burns. Singy, he's a guy that can rack up a lot of strikeouts. Yeah, very respectable yeah, batters last year. A sub 350 ERA. And, you know, guys like that, you may think, well, oh, they're elite pitchers that are pitching sub twos. They're dominating. But when you can have that kind of consistency, you know you have a chance to win the ball game every time he takes the mound. So, you know, good season last year. Opportunity for him to go out there and repeat it this year, possibly even improve. But I tell you what, if this guy's pitching for me and I'm playing in the outfield, I'm loving every minute of it. And that one fouled on. Oh, boom, we got Burns working on the mound in this one, and he's a guy that rose through the minors rather quickly. Drafted back in 2016, and he made his major league debut just two seasons later. That's a fast climb, and he's been able to conquer lots of challenges thrown his way. Here tonight, an efficient start to the home first, two away. Two outs, bases empty. Masataka Yoshida up next for the Red Sox. And first offering is fouled off. Is fouled off. Yoshida, in his second season, hitting third in the lineup, and he's driven in double-digit runs over his last ten games. Two outs. In the air, fairly deep to right field. Makes the grab, Makes and that'll, the end grab the and that'll end the inning. Top of the second, and now it's Austin Hayes. It's Austin Hayes. Line drive, and that's Line base drive. hit out into center field. Out of the center field. Man aboard on the Man leadoff aboard single. The lead well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. Other than ripping one into the gap or blasting one over the wall, there aren't a whole lot of hits that are more satisfying than a nice line drive in the center field. So that definitely felt good. He's got it. And there's one down. Here's Ryan Mountcastle. Here's Ryan Mountcastle. Right through there for a strike. No ball. No ball. And there's a foul yeah, ball. A foul ball. Hayes, at first, one gone. At first, one gone. And a foul ball, he stays foul alive. Ball, he stays alive. That one the other way. That the other way. That's a base hit. That's a base Hayes, around Hayes around second. And they'll have runners at the corners after a one-out single. One-out single. 
showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy, didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep, took the barrel right to it, and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. Well, all eyes on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. On the ground, right side. And he stopped at first. Quick feed to second for one. Back to the pitcher covering. It's a double play. Nicely done, and that'll do it. No runs on two hits. No errors, and one left on. We go to the bottom of inning number two. No score. Back here at Fenway Park, leading off, Rafael Devers. Burns, back to work. Burns, a former Cy Young Award winner. He throws a cutter, a curve, a changeup, a slider, and he works in a sinker. The pitch. Swing and a miss. As he was out front that time. up empty as he chases that one in the dirt. Rutschman on the first. In time to get him. One away in the strikeout. Now batting Tristan Casas. Good power. Not great in the OBP department. Hit hard but foul to the left. One out. Base is empty. And a foul ball. And a foul ball. And here it comes. Swing and a miss, and he chases that one in the dirt. And there's two gone following the strikeout. We'll take a look at the three-pitch sequence here. Pretty simple in terms of pumping the way at the plate. Once you're ahead 0-2 as a pitcher, you can really expand the zone and see how aggressive that hitter is going to be trying to protect and battle. Right there, clearly he was in swing mode, but all you can do is hope to foul that off. Two down, nobody on. And it's quickly nothing in two on the designated hitter. Swing and a miss. That one in the dirt. Rutschman on to first. That completes the strikeout inning over. Out of the third inning at the play. Cedric Mullins. All one there. Line of the pitch. Line of the pitch. Left field. Left field. Yoshida on his Yoshida way over. On his way over. And a quick out number and one. Quick out number one. Jordan Westberg Jordan will Westberg. hit next. Will hit next. Next offering popped next in the air. Right field. The air, right field. O'Neill makes the catch. Makes the and catch. there's two away. And there's two away. Here's Adley Rutschman. Here's Adley Rutschman. Oh. And there's a strike. Oh. And there's a strike. Top of the third, no Top score. Of the third, no score. And a foul ball. And a foul ball. Two outs. Two outs. No. Just off the outside Just edge. Off the outside now one and two. Now one and two. And a ground ball to first, and, ball and he first. can't come up with it. Can't come up with it. They, they. Runner at first with two away. Next to him, Anthony Santander. And there's a rocket into the outfield. Throw in, holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. And the batter now, Gunnar Henderson. And that one fouled off. And that one fouled off. Here comes the 0-1. Here comes the 0-1. That's ripped into the, that's outfield. Ripped into the outfield. Brings it in. Brings and it that's in. the third out. And that's the third out. Back here at Fenway as we go as to the last of the third. Last now it's the right fielder, now Tyler O'Neill. And a pitch. And a pitch. Oh. the plate inside. Oh. And it's 1-0. It looks like somebody missed the swing side. That's the first pitch this team's taken for a ball all game long. In the air, right center. This is Mitch, way back, and gone. He 
sends it out of here. His second of the year, and that gives him a lead. It's 1-0. And change up, up in the zone is a hitter's dream. It's a BP fastball, but you're playing in real time. Most times, that pitcher's asking for a new baseball, just like that ball. Here's Reese McGuire, hitless yesterday, as they only pushed across one run. That one fouled off. That one fouled Always off. exciting to see a leadoff home run in an, an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up, and you start to expect a big inning. The pitch. Up the middle. Whips it to first on the run. Awesome play there. Good fade and sinking action of that changeup. Got that hitter to roll. Here's Trevor Story now. Here's Trevor Story now. And he yep. swings and misses swings at the initial offer. Oh, oh, Out towards right center field. Right Mullins center field. Settles, under Mullins it. settles under it. And puts the squeeze on that one. On that Two, down. one. Two down. Now batting Jaron Duran. Grounded out his first time. Out his first time. Swing and a pop off Swing in foul ground. Henderson, Henderson drifts towards it, reaches over the wall, and he's got it. Solo, Solo shot opens the scoring for Boston. It's all set for the start of the inning. And into the box for Baltimore, Austin Hayes. First pitch, just misses. Hayes, 28 years old, and he was a third round pick back in 2016. Swings through that one out front that time. So now one and two. One and two. The line of the pitch. The line of the pitch. Bows it off. Still Bows one off. and two. Still one and two. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. There we'll do it again. The pitch. The pitch. Ball. Two, two. Uh, the plate inside, all three. Inside. All three. Swing and a miss. Oh. And he's down on strikes. He didn't make it easy for him on the mound, but they still get the strikeout. Well, that's the money maker right there. Two strikes, slider down and away from the same side thrower as the hitter. The X is tough. You're looking to protect with two strikes and very difficult to lay off. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there are two outs. And there are two outs. That's to third. That's Devers. Devers. Sends it across the first. And the Orioles. And the Orioles. Back here in Boston. Bottom of the fourth. Now at the plate. Vaughn Grissom. Vaughn Grissom. The pitch. The pitch. Tries to hold up, appeal to first, up, and yes, first. he offered at it. Yes, he offered at it. Here comes a pitch. Here comes a pitch. Little chopper rolls Little chopper foul. Rolls foul. And the right hater deals. The right hater deals. Foul off the plate. They'll do it again. The plate. They'll do it again. Just trying to protect, keep the bat alive. alive. Down to the dirt, swing and a miss. Swing and a miss. In time, and the drop third strike leads to the first half. And next for the Red Sox, Masataka Yoshida. He's all for one. He's all for one. Outside. What about the fans at Fenway? Would they let you have it from time to time? They're definitely intelligent baseball fans, which is awesome. They're not waiting for something to happen. They can smell a big inning or anticipate a situation setting itself up. And a foul ball. One thing I found that was very cool was, very was making cool. a great play to end the inning and running off the field and getting a standing ovation. Oh, this pitch rides in too far. That got him. He had a 1-2, and he ends up hitting him with a pitch. Man Ward, and here is Devers. He's over one. 
right side. Right side. Santander in position. In position. Two away. Two away. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough to really drive it. And stepping in for Boston, Tristan Casas. Over one so far. Over one so far. Two outs. Two outs. One Pitch more. Misses. One more. Count misses. even one and one. Count even one and one. Rip to short. Rip they to get short. the force. They get the Play force. made. That ends the Play inning. made. That ends the inning. Back inside Fenway Park. Top five, John Shelby with Chris Singleton. And leading it off, Jackson Holiday. You know, these Orioles, digging into their numbers, have to be happy with the swings they're taking. This one swung on and hit well. Way back there. Way back there. And that one is out of here. Jackson Holiday with his first major league home run. A special moment in his young career. And who knows, maybe that'll open the floodgates for him. Yeah, getting that out of the way can be a big confidence booster. It feels like a huge weight has just been taken off your back. You can go up there with a lot less pressure on you now. And I wouldn't be surprised if he gets hot for a little while. What do you remember about your first career homer, Chris? Well, I remember it was all from Omar Oliveras. And, you know, being there in Los Angeles against the Angels, Los Angeles against the Angels just a tremendous day, great ball, and a special moment for sure. A special moment for sure. Fastball right back to the mound. To first, and they get Mullins for the out. Jordan Westberg, the next to hit for the Orioles. It's a good recovery, though, after giving up the home run. Not allowing it to stay in the head, but going to work at the next hitter. And a tough one to die. Tosses to the pitcher, covering the bag. Barely got him for the out. Close play. Swang and a high fly ball in the air, left field. Yoshida going back, and it bangs off the monster. And that's a double. Oh, here we are, third time oh, through the order, and this is where we see the OPS jump up. Yes. Manager yes. might have to go to the bullpen a little bit. And that's a fair and ball a fair around third. third. He will score, and the Orioles take the lead. It's two to one. And he's in at second with a two-out double. His confidence level is so high. Really nice job of coming through in a big spot. That was a thing of beauty. He may have been a little behind the pitch, but by getting that barrel into the hitting zone early on in his swing, he was able to meet it and still shoot a line drive down the line and left. And the righty deal. And the righty deal. On the ground to the Come left, on. and it goes just oh. foul. Just Man on second, two down. Gets a piece, and it stays 0-2. The pitch. Fights it off, you'll see another. Righty delivers. Righty delivers. Struck him out looking. We head to the bottom of the fifth. Now here's the Red Sox DH, number 47. Burns back to work. Back to work. That one missed. Well, after yes. putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across. This is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. Good hitters count the two hitters count the two Swing and a high fly Swing ball down the left field line, line, but hooking field foul. Line, but hooking foul. And a pitch. And a pitch. Swings and misses. Two and two. Two and two. Out to short. Out to short. Zips it to first, and that's the first out in the bottom of the fifth. Here's Tyler O'Neill. Good sinker low in the zone right there and produced exactly what he was looking for. All on the ground, nice ground out. Nice ground out. The Orioles up by a run here in the second game of the series. 
high in the air out to right. the air out to right. Santander snags it for the second out. Here's the catcher, Reese McGuire. Oh for one, he grounded out in his first at bat. Swing and a ground ball to the middle. That's a base hit. So a two-out knock keeps the inning alive. Trevor Story comes up to the plate. Oh for one with a fly out to center. There's a strike. These hitters have been very aggressive early in the count, but when you're down, you might want to be a little more patient, take some pitches, see if you can extend those at-bats and get some base runners on. Got the bat going too soon at strike two. And a swing and a miss, and that's that. One hit. Back here at Fenway, here's the left fielder. Here's the left so they turn to the lefty in this spot, Brennan Bernardino. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where Brookman can give their players a chance to fight back into the game. And ball one. Swing and a miss as he was out front. And another ball. And another ball. Gets a piece. Gets and a piece. stays alive. And stays alive. He swings and hits a fly he ball. Center field. Ball. Center field. Duran makes the Durant. grab on the makes run. The grab on the run. Ramon Urias. Ramon now Urias. at the plate. Now at the plate. That oh, one's in there. That one's Strike in there. one. Strike one. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Strike Toughest out. pitch to hit. Fastball on the outer Fastball black. The outer Man, black. sometimes you just got to tip your cap. You just got to tip your cap. Kicks and fires. Kicks and fires. On the ground, out to short. Ground, out to short. And that he is the third out, out of the inning. Out. Third out so of the inning. inning. So they Bottom of the sixth inning. Of the and now here's inning. the speed and throw. Here's the outfielder, speed Jaron Duran. Jaron Duran. The right hander back to work. Right hander back to work. Swing and a miss. Swing and a miss. The number of first pitch strikes. He's not afraid of contact. Some guys they'll nibble just because they don't want to get hit. Hard. That's not what we're seeing here. Left hand batter waits. Foul ball. It stays. Nothing in two. Nothing in two. the ground right side ground right side tosses the first tosses leadoff the first. man retired in the sixth so stepping in for Boston Vaughn Grissom up the middle up the holiday holiday gets it to first oh. gets it and to a couple of quick outs Masataka Yoshida Masataka up Yoshida. next to the Red Sox up next to the Red Sox down the ball here, rolls foul. Rolls foul. And a pitch. And a pitch. A swing and a miss as he chases way out of this one. Way out of this one. Way inside, gets out of the way. Home team down a run. Here at the bottom of the six. Here at the bottom of the six. Swings and misses. Red Sox go one, two. And we're back. And the batter will be the shortstop. Jackson Holiday. That went close. Rule the ball. And that's ball one. Bernardino. In his second season, he features a sinker, a curve, and he works in a four-seamer. Kicks and deals. Now a high fly ball out to left center. Duran on the move to the gap. But the left fielder calls him off and makes the catch. One away. Now a drag bunt, third base side. And foul ball. 
It looks like the weather could actually play a factor in this one. It's coming down pretty good. Yeah, it is, and it's not too bad yet, but the field's not going to be able to hold up if the rain gets any worse than this. So keep an eye on the pitcher's mound as well, and the rest of the infield start to puddle up a little bit. Well, that's a curveball that I'm sure he wants back at the plate. Two strikes, the sort of pitch you're hoping for, a bit of a mistake, and I'd say in a very hittable location, but clearly the break was enough to get him to swing through it. Man, this has been a real important inning in relief, and so far, they've been doing a great job holding that deficit at one. On to first, that's the third out. One, two, three. Back in Boston, bottom of the seventh, Rafael Devers up to him. Pitch. Pitch. And fouled off. And fouled off. They hope he's the guy to spark a comeback. He tends to play better when his team is behind, so why not him? Looking to get the tying run on base. And that one fouled off. And that one fouled off. Right hander kicks deals. And Devers hits that one. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one away. Tristan Casas up next for the Red Sox. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. Holding on to a one run lead here at the bottom of the seventh. And it's strike two. I'd say that stayed in the tunnel for a long time. No chance of even fouling it off. That misses, and it's one and two. Well, this is a good time to step out of the box, take a deep breath, reset. A couple of change-ups, probably won't see another one here. This to third, Henderson. Zips it across, and that quickly, two away. Number 47, getting ready to hit. Well, there's a lot riding on that at bat right there. A nice job of the pitcher to bear down, make the pitch, get the ground ball. Excellent piece of work. That's outside. Two outs, base is empty. And that's just foul. Just foul. The one one is fouled off. One one is fouled off. Two down, nobody on. Swing and a miss. Had him out front for the strikeout. Nothing. We go to the eighth. Now the Orioles catcher, Adley Rushman. Swings and misses. And it's all wrong. We haven't seen a break in the weather, and the umpires might be forced to make a decision soon. Yeah, I think so, Boo. I mean, everyone looking and wondering when they're going to stop play. It definitely feels close. Santander stands in now and watches strike one. Base is empty one away. We're the top of the eighth. Next offering is in for a strike. And now the lefty. And now the lefty keeps the back going with a foul ball. Going with a foul ball. At the belt and fire. At the belt and fire. That one is absolutely belted. Absolutely belted. It bangs off the wall. Bangs off the wall. Not stopping. He's going for three. He's going for three. Safe at third with a triple, his third hit of the day. Oh, I'm sure he feels really good about that one. Fastball pretty much middle, middle, and that's what you fall asleep dreaming about as a hitter. So no surprise, he put a great swing on it. Gunnar Henderson, the next to hit for the Orioles. In the infield at the corners, don't be surprised to see them come home first and prevent that run from scoring. In the dirt, nice job behind the play. And a pitch. Popped up, popped up. Story settles Story under this one. Settles under this one. Puts it away for the out. That's out number two. That's out oh, number he throws two. it away. Oh, he throws it away. But it's offline. But it's offline. So next to hit for Baltimore, so for Austin, Baltimore. Hayes. Austin Hayes. And there's a rocket into the outfield. 
Around first, digging for two. Rolls to second. And safely, it's a double at his second hit. Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. First pitch fastball, a great spot to do some damage, and he squared it up nicely. Urias in the box now as he leaves that one up high. There's the strike. There's the strike. One ball, one strike. One strike. There's a swing and a trap. O'Neal ranging back. And it's caught just in front of the wall. Back now, the pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, Craig Kimbrell. He's pitching on two days rest. And he deals. O'Neal, the leadoff batter as he swings for it for strike one. Movement in the Orioles' bullpen. Yenier Cano up and loosening in the pen. Strike two. It's been tough for the offense so far, but you can't get frustrated. You've got to find a way to shake it off, go up there, and relax. That's the only way you're going to be able to put runs up on the board. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Well, you rarely ever see three curveballs in a row because that's one of those pitches that's most effective when you haven't seen it recently. You might see three sliders in a row, but right there, he was feeling that curveball and figured he could finish with that pitch. McGuire, the batter down as he swings and misses for strike one. That one ripped, and it goes just foul. The Orioles holding on to a two-run lead near the bottom half of the eighth inning. Line drive, base hit. Line drive, base hit. Well, he wasn't afraid to hit with two strikes. I think he choked up a little bit, maybe spread out, but he got the job done right there. Here's Trevor Story. Trevor Story. Bounce to the right. Bounce to the right. Off balance speed. There's one. Over the first safe. If you want to be a great defense, you have to deliver consistently. It doesn't matter how many highlight real plays you make if you can't execute the small stuff just like we saw. Just like we saw. And that one wrapped foul. The tying run the at the floor. Run at the floor. On the ground. Sneaks through. Base hit. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. Once you get the ball by the pitcher, there's a lot of base hits up the middle, even on ground balls. So a nice job to use that big hole and get himself a hit. Alex Cora turning to the bench for a new hitter. Rob Refsnyder looking for a big hit with two out runners at first and second. Sliced hard but foul. Swings and misses. The count is 0 and 2. This one in the air right field. And it falls. Here comes the throw, but it's offline. He will score. One of the hardest things to do in the game, to stay mentally and physically ready for the big opportunity. And he came through for his club right there. Here's a new pitcher from the pen, Danny Cologne. These are the spots where levers really make a name for themselves, late and close. There's not much margin for error, but at the same time, there's a reason they're put in these situations. Yoshida at the plate now. That's ball one. That's ball one. Right field down the line, and that one slices down. Slices down. Swing and a miss. Very solid inning on the mound so far here in the eighth. Holding on to this narrow lead. This is exactly what they were looking for. Got him swinging. As expected, we're going into a rain delay, and I have a feeling this is going to be a long break, Singy. It is really coming down as they put the tarp on the infield. Yeah, I think we kind of saw this one coming, Boo, again. It's not going to be a short break either, so I guess we go grab some coffee or something, man. Go sneak in a game at the show before play picks back up. Bring it. Bring it.
Mountcastle leading things off and takes a strike. Headley. Jensen. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. And the pitch. Had a really good swing on that pitch and hit the ball hard. You know, line drive don't always find a hole, but the more you can hit the ball like that with good exit below. And that just misses. So as a pitcher, when you make a big pitch down around the knees and don't get the call, it'll lead at you out there. So some handle it a little bit better than others. And right here, clearly letting the off do it a little bit. Righty delivers. Spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. Five foul balls in this at bat so far, and these two are going head-to-head. You can see the crowd. They're starting to get into it a little bit more and more each pitch, even though there hasn't been a ball in play yet. So the lineup flips over. Here's the Orioles' leadoff. Cedric Mullins. Right-handed reliever. Fall off foul. Not looking like they'll be adding any insurance runs heading to the bottom of the ninth, so they'll be on the bullpen to hold this lead. And there's a hit. Next for the Orioles, yeah, Jordan, the Orioles. Westberg. Jordan Westberg. Ball. First offering, and it just Ball. misses. And it just oh, no. misses. Oh, no. Swing and a ground ball Swing out to short. They take the force out, and, force and that is that. And that is that. Back yeah. now, and on the mound, the closer, Yenier Cano. He comes in with a chance for his second save of the season. This one chopped on the ground, but foul. the ground, but foul. And here it comes. And here it comes. Lifted in the air, right center field. Air, right Mullins, center in field. Mullins in pursuit. Mullins in pursuit. Makes the grab. Makes the one up, grab. One down. One up, one down. That's a big first That's out right there, out and, right that there. and that changes yeah, things. Yeah, you can kind of see yeah, how just the, see how just the hope and optimism has shrunk optimism a little bit, but they got a couple bit, more outs to work with. They got to find a way to get a run around and get one around the bases. Squeezes it. Number two. And next for the Red Sox, number 47. Over for three with two strikeouts and a ground out. Up the middle, and he knocks it down. And they get the out after the ricochet. 